Worship the Lord, worship the Lord, worship the Lord. Sheba mama ke kabaru mama mande de de sandara mama mande. Beka tabaku tamaru ba sembari mama mama seke te boru bo sandara mama. Beke te boru bo sandara baka tabara mama 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 mama. Benda baka tabaru ma seke te boru bo sandana mama mama. Sindi be katabakuta bara bayanda de biyana rama mama kata yana rama yana rama si. Chimba kuta yana mama nde bakuta nara bayana rama mama. Beke te boko to boro bose beke boko boro bose nara mama mama ke te nere biyana rama. Beru kata bayana rama mama. Re kata baka tabaku boru bose nere biyana rama mama 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 se nere biyana rama mama. Beke te boru bose nere biyana rama mama mama mama. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We worship you. We glorify you. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood, the blood that washes and makes pure as anything. We plead the blood upon our lives this hour. Let the blood wash our minds, our hearts, our thoughts. Any wicked intentions in our hearts, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ to wash us, to wash us in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever you are, as you are tuning to Blessed Radio TV, the blessing of the Lord is coming upon you now. The power of the Most High God is coming upon you now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I worship you. I worship you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I pray this hour that the Spirit of God will take over our lives, will take over everything that we are doing in the mighty name of Jesus. First of all, we'd like to um, I'd like to apologize for uh, coming a bit late. Um, all things work together for good to them that love God, to them that are the called according to his purpose. Whatever happens, it works for our good. The Lord is in control. Hallelujah. This evening, I'd like to share a short word with you. And I pray that the Spirit of God will take over. And I pray for the Spirit of understanding as well. That as the Word of God is coming, we shall be blessed. We shall be lifted from one level to another in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. As I was studying the scripture, I was praying to God and uh, this word came to me by the Holy Spirit. You know, as we are in the end times, so many things are happening to us. And as children of God, we need to be strong. Hallelujah. 
we are in the end times. I'll quickly go straight into scriptures in the book of Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 3. 2 Timothy chapter 3. I'll read from 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Perilous times shall come. I was looking for the word perilous. It has three different meanings. One Perilous means difficult days shall come. It also means dangerous. It's dangerous. And it, it also means risk or risky. So, Timothy, he says, this no also that in the last days perilous times shall come difficult days shall come dangerous times shall come things that we are looking for we are looking for them through which source it continues to say, For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Child of God, the word of God is coming to you this hour. We are in the last days. We are in the end times. Are you prepared for the battle ahead. Hard days are in, and child of God, we need to empower ourselves in the Holy Ghost. The Bible says, For men shall be lovers of their own selves, convertious, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient. To parents, unthankful, unholy. This is what the devil is doing to children of God, attacking from left to right for children of God to be boastful, to be disobedient to their parents. When the Bible talks about disobedience to our parents, not only our earthly parents but also our Heavenly Father. Our Heavenly Father is our parent, is our Father. He says, men, men, human beings, shall be lovers of their own selves. Are we ready for the battle ahead of us? These are things that are written in scriptures for us to know and fight them through the power of the Holy Spirit. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. When the Bible talks about men shall be lovers of their own selves, it means that we shall be selfish, we shall be looking for things for ourselves. This is the reason why men, others can easily betray their brothers, sisters, they can kill, they can defraud, they can do anything to their own siblings without any shadow of regret. They do not regret anything because the word of God has spoken it that in the latter days, in the end times, men shall be lovers. Are you a lover of yourself? What are you doing with your life in these end times? The Bible continues to say that men shall be proud. Hmm. Men. When the Bible talks about 
of men is talking about the natural man, the, the you know the living in the flesh. The Bible is talking about having the earthly minds. You are thinking like the world thinks. The world, worldly people can do anything. They are boastful. They are lovers of themselves. They do anything to make money. They do whatever to succeed in life. And child of God, this is what the Bible is talking about. It's talking about men. Are we living the lives of men? Or we are living the lives or the life of Christ? We shall be boastful, bosses. There is so much pride in the kingdom of God. Even when a child is correcting or trying to put things right, the earthly person, you know, we know that this is right. But yet, because it's coming from a child, we become proud. Pride. The devil was proud. He was uh, 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 arrogant. He wanted to exalt himself. Child of God. In this end times, if you exalt yourself, God, the Bible says, God will bring you down. In, in verse 3 says, without natural affection. Without natural affection. Hallelujah. Be strong in the law. Be strong in the law. That is the title of this message. When we are strong in the law, when we depend on the power of the Holy Spirit, when we depend on the direction of the Holy Spirit, when we depend on the leadership of the Holy Spirit, all these things we have to be careful they will not come to us because the spirit of god will take over us we shall not be proud we shall not be uh, covetous we shall not be boastful we shall not be disobedient to our parents because the holy spirit will empower us, will energize us, will strengthen us. Hallelujah. Child of God, you need to be strong in this end times. We are. The Bible has said it. It says, Notice that perilous times shall come. Hard times, difficult times shall come. But it takes the one who depends on God to face and overcome every child of god is born to overcome challenges in life every child of god has been empowered the bible says and ye shall receive power you have the power of the holy ghost to speak against to repel all negativities that come to you, the attacks may come, the thoughts, the evil thoughts will come, but the Bible says, casting down imaginations and any high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, pride, uh, boast, boastfulness, uh, uh, unthankfulness, unholiness, they are all uh, uh, things that they exalt themselves, they are spirits, they are demonic spirits that exalt themselves against the knowledge of God. The Bible says bringing down into captivity when you are empowered by the Holy Ghost, you will bring down, you will put them into captivity. You will stop the oppression of every uh, negative spirit in the name of Jesus. When we have the power, when we rely on the power of the Holy Ghost, when we surrender our lives to, <laughs> to God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, as 
as we surrender, He empowers us spiritually. So many uh, uh, things are going on in the body of Christ. Now, we, we can't even tell the difference between the Christian and then the unbeliever, the Gentile and then the Christian. We can't tell. Because what the Gentiles are doing, the believer, the Christian, who has been named by the name of God, is also practicing the same thing. But child of God, as you are listening to this message, I encourage you that depend on the Holy Ghost, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. For our wrestle is not against flesh and blood. There are spiritual wickedness. They bring evil to us. They bring all of us. Let's let's be let's, let's do it. And people uh, that say we have been God in our language, they will not hear that. So let's let's do it. Let's do it. Hallelujah. It says without natural affection. We don't that affection that we you see the Bible says whatsoever a man so and so shall he reap. And do so unto others as you wish others to do unto you. If you do not have any affection, you do not feel for others, others will not feel for you. It is biblical. The word of God cannot be broken. But child of God, when you are strong, you will not depend on your natural mind. You you accept and you you allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. Sometimes believers are waiting to be um, extra over over righteous, over holy. Before they can do something, it doesn't work like that. Child of God, we are all with sin, we all sin one way or the other, but it doesn't. The Bible says, Shall we continue to sin? No, when we are empowered by the Holy Ghost, oh, child of God, when the sin is coming, we will stand firm and fight it back. There are so many things going on, you know, there are so many things going on in life and people are running from one, one place to the other, from um, America to Australia, from wherever to wherever, seeking uh, greener pastures. But your greener pasture is in the Lord. There are people in Africa who are blessed. There are people in the villages, deep, deep villages in Africa, they are blessed. You can be anywhere when your life is depending on God, God will bless you. Therefore, you must be strong in the Lord, depend solely on God. There are hard times. Everywhere is hard. But we have the master. The Bible says he never sleeps nor slumber. His eyes is all over the righteous. When we talk about righteousness, he's just doing the right thing. That's all. It looks a long way. So people they have righteousness. Long like and righteousness. No. It's just doing the right thing. Then you have the <laughs> righteousness of God. Depending. The Bible says our righteousness is like a beauty rat before God. So our righteousness depends on Christ. We go through Christ. There is nothing that we do that will ever prosper without Christ. When we depend on Christ, it shall prosper. Sometimes we face some challenges, strong challenges in life. You, 
You may think all is gone. There is no hope. But child of God, the Bible says, hope maketh not ashamed. Because it is the power of God. It, the love of God is shared abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. Romans chapter 5, verse 5. When we become strong in the, in the Lord, we will hope in the Lord. As you are hearing this message, it is energizing you, it is empowering your faith in God. Nothing is <laughs> gone or you, you have lost nothing. Job was strong in the Lord. Job put on the, the armor of God. Is the what the Bible says, finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in high places. Therefore, put on the whole armor of God. That was exactly what Job did. It is not so. Sometimes we are looking for uh, uh, where is the armor? Job put on the armor of God, spiritual armor. The friends, the wife was saying, "Look, as God and that there was an armor of righteousness on him." <laughs> the breastplate of righteousness, Job placed it on him. It was an armor that he would not, he would not say anything. He would not blaspheme against his maker. So he was strong in the Lord, and at the end, he prevailed. He prevailed against Satan. Some of us, the little thing that comes our way, <laughs> we find, uh, 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 oh, let's be quick and see that uh, soothsayer. You have something to say. It happens a lot to believers, to Christians. Oh, God created them. You see, some deceivers, that's why the Bible says that be, be very careful. With all this, is the devil will come with wrong doctrines. There are some deceivers around who come and say, Oh, but God created them. And they start giving you scriptures of uh, Saul went to the witch at Endor. He got to Samuel. Samuel gave him scriptures. Uh, Samuel told him what God has said. So why can't you just go and then uh, get something from this man quickly and know what uh, uh, it is about? They would deceive you. As soon as you get there, there is a sacrifice you have to make. You will not go there and leave there. But there is not, you will not pay God for consulting him. So the Bible continues to say that <laughs> without natural affection, trust breakers, false accusers. Because of the love of money, people accuse their own brethren. People do believers. I'm talking to believers, children of God, because we are in the end times. God, Jesus is coming soon. Jesus is coming soon. What report are we going to give? What account are we going to give to him? The Bible says each man shall give his own account. His own. Sometimes people think we all stand and they watch us. <laughs> you know people's story. No. Each man shall give his own account. So when the Bible says, for it is appointed unto man, man, one, to die, and after death, judgment. So each man will stand before the judgment throne. What have you done with your life? What am I doing with my life? Very 
previous times are in now. They are not coming, they are in. It is hard. We are in the hard times. We are in the difficult days. That when we do not rely on God, we'll be doing things and then we'll be thinking it's the Holy Spirit directing us to do. It continues to say that <laughs> despises of those that are good. Verse 4, traitors. Heady. High-minded. Lovers of pleasures. More than lovers of God. Lovers of pleasures. But child of God, are you a lover of pleasure? Is your life depending on God alone? Or your life is depending on that money that you have? Is your life depending on the leadership of the Holy Ghost? Or your life is depending on the wealth that you have? The Bible says, Men shall be traitors, betrayers, evil speakers. Hear one thing from here and go to the other side and exaggerate what they have heard. And sugarcoat it. Child of God, Christ is coming soon. The Bible says we shall give an account of every word, any idea word that we speak, we utter from our mouth. If you are somebody you curse your children, you are somebody you curse your wife, you are somebody you curse your husband, you will give an account one day. Is that what God asks you to do? When we depend on God, when we are strong in the Lord and in the power of His might, we will fight all these negative spirits. When the thought comes to speak something, when the thought comes to declare anything negative upon your children, upon your wife, upon your husband, upon your family, upon anything, the Spirit of God will put you in remembrance, will tell you that God has said, bless but do not curse. Be strong. Be strong in the Lord. Hallelujah. And it goes and says, having a form, 2 Timothy 3 verse 5, having a form of godliness, having a form of godliness, Pretending, pretending, having, you know, showing to people that this is how I am. But denying the power thereof from such turn away. When you are blue, be blue. If you want to be red and you are blue, be blue till you are trying to be red. The Bible says they are having the form of godliness but denying the power, the power that will empower you to come overcome these negative behaviors. That power, you are denying it. We are denying that power, but yet we are having the form. We are trying to imitate showing up to people that this is how I am. That is why a lot of people seem not to like me. Because when it is red, I make it red. I make it known that it is red. The truth will hurt you, but it will save you. When you are depending on God, the Bible says the spirit of truth, who is the Holy Spirit, oh, he will come to you and he will lead you into all truth. 
I will not come and sugarcoat any words for you. What is not biblical? What is not in the scripture? I come oh, then I because I need you to be happy. No. If you will be sad and be sent into the kingdom of God, I will speak the truth. That is the Bible says, study to show thyself approved unto God, not unto men. Study to show thyself yourself approved unto God. A workman, a workman of God, not a workman of men. A workman of God. Oh, Father God, I give you praise. Steady. We must study the word. It is the word that will empower us. Steady to show thyself approved unto God. A workman who needed not to be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Rightly dividing the word of truth. When it is red, it is red. So when I'm when I'm counseling people, I'm talking to people. Uh, they, 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 they they expect some kind of uh, uh, words from me. I will not. You don't expect it. What is scriptural? That is what I'll give you. When it hurts you for a while, it will energize you forever. You think about it. Hallelujah. So having the form of godliness, they have their form, but denying the power, the power that will lead them to speak the truth, the power that will lead them to resist the enemy, they deny that power. That power that will <laughs> strengthen you, that power that will keep you going spiritually, or oh, to overcome all negativities in life, deny that power. That is the reason why a lot of people go to this fetish priest to do uh, kill, cut uh, a finger, bring some uh, magical things because they are denying the power because they have not tasted of the power they have been the form of godliness by denying the power do we have to have the form of godliness and deny the power I would rather accept the power than to have a form I will accept the power. I will rely on the power. Hallelujah. It goes on to say, For of these sort are they which keep into houses and lead captive silly women, lady with sins, led away with diverse lusts. Such behaviors, they deceive the elect. Child of God, until we strengthen ourselves in the power of God, until we read the scriptures and allow the Holy Spirit to teach us, until we totally rely on God, deceivers will come in diverse ways to deceive us, to take us out of the truth, from the truth of God, and then we'll start following seducing spirits. Be strong, child of God. Whatever you are facing, whatever challenge is on your way, oh, one day you will overcome. He is the God of Jacob. He is the God of Abraham. He is the God of Isaac. And He is your God. He is my God. He never changes. He will never sleep nor slumber. He sees you. He knows you. Oh, child of God. He says, Before I formed thee in your mother's womb, I knew thee. God knows you. 
whatever challenge you are going through the world is full of challenges now there is no christian who can say that i'm not going through any challenge i'm not going through any issue then we are not christians but god has given us the power to overcome the bible says and this is the victory that overcame the world even our faith so we empower ourselves in the law through the faith that we have in christ for this is the victory for this is the victory there is victory coming your way there is victory on your business there is victory coming your way in your ministry in your immigration issue there is victory coming for this is the victory that overcome the world even our faith your marriage seems to be on the rocks this is the victory that overcome the world even your faith people have declared your marriage broken divorced certain amount of things people have said that your ministry will never go on people have declared that you will never have babies they have declared all sorts of things but child of god what god has spoken concerning your life shall surely come to pass in the name of jesus very soon i'll bring my message to an to a close shall we turn our bibles to the book of isaiah hmm. the book of isaiah chapter 40 i'll read from one comfort ye comfort ye my people says the law hmm. when the bible says comfort ye comfort yourselves means empower yourselves oh my people be strong my people says the law speak ye comfortably to jerusalem whoever is listening now Put your name there. God says, comfort yourself. Empower yourself. Hmm. For whatever you have been fighting for. Let me continue to read. And cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished. You are in a battle. You are facing some challenges. You are in a warfare. The Lord says, comfort yourselves now. The hour has come. The time has come. I, the Lord, have spoken my word. I will send forth my word. And my word shall not return to me. Oh, empty. This is the time. Your warfare is accomplished. You have fought a good fight of faith. You have laid hold of eternal life. You have stood strong. Child of God, this is the work and this is the word of God. When you stand strong and fight a battle in the name of the Lord, it, uh, it will be accomplished. God says, your warfare has been accomplished. That marriage that you have been fighting for, it has been accomplished. That warfare, that satanic entity, those words that were spoken against that marriage, against that ministry, against that Barrenness and guess what? Those you fought a good fight of faith, you have laid hold of eternal life. The Bible says God is speaking to you right now. He says your warfare is accomplished. That her iniquity is pardoned. For she has received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins. You have been received. 
God is multiplying your blessings. He has forgiven you. He has pardoned you. Whatever secret sins, whatever unknown and nonsense, God, tell God, don't let your sins cripple you. God has pardoned you because you are so strong. You have fought a good fight of faith. You have done what God has asked you to do. And then victory follows up. The voice of him that cried in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a high place, a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted. Wherever they place you, whatever they, whatever they say concerning you, whatever paper you have received from wherever, it has been in the valley. God is speaking to you right now. Prepare. <laughs> As he told the children of Israel, he said, prepare this night for the angel of death will smite, will walk through the whole of Egypt and smite all evil. Whatever challenge uh, you are facing, prepare ye the way for the Lord. Let the Lord take his place. The Bible says, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a high place for our God. Every valley shall be exalted and every mountain and hill shall be made low. Why? Because you have stood strong. You have depended on God. You made God your first and last. You made him the warrior of that battle. Therefore he says, make straight the way of the Lord. Now I have seen that you are strong in me. Make way for me. I am coming to put things right. Child of God, prepare. As you are listening to this message, prepare the way for the Lord in that challenge, in that battle. That thing that they have spoken concerning your life, prepare. Prepare. God is coming. Hey, hey, hey. God is coming, child of God. It says every mountain, any mountain in your life, any hill in your life, God says, I am coming to make them low. When I stand, when I kick those things, they shall be made low. When I speak, when I blow a wind, oh, they shall be made low. Have faith in God. Be strong in Him. May your spirit man all be connected to the Holy Spirit now. See any mountain in your life be made low now in Jesus' mighty name. See any hill in your life be made low now. In the name of Jesus, they are all challenges in life. See the Lord coming to smite your enemies. And the crooked shall be made straight. God gave a temporal way to the enemy to make certain things crooked. But God is coming permanently to make them straight. And the rough place is plain. I'll jump quickly because I'm bringing this message to a close very soon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Shande bakuta yandaraba. Bekete koko borobo senerebe. I pray for someone right now. As you are listening to this message. Or oh, any mountain in your life. Is coming low now. God is working on that mountain. That challenge is being overcome. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. I speak as a messenger of God. That whatever you are going through. Or you are going through. Oh God is coming. To smash them down. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are an overcomer. You are a winner. You were born a winner. You were born a champion. From your mother's womb, you fought so many other people. And God, you prevailed. And God brought you to this earth. You will prevail in the name of Jesus. Whatever you go through, you will face them and you will overcome them. Through the power of the Holy Ghost, I speak into your life. Whatever you could not do before, rise up in the name of Jesus and begin to do it. I speak under the altars of the Holy Ghost, now into your spirit being. Receive it in Jesus' name. Shake Borobo, Sande Bakubaru, Katakabaru, Mayandaga. Beke Teborobo, Seke Teborobo, Se. Benerebe, Sakatabayana, Lamashe. Oh, the Lord is working. The Lord is at your door. The Lord is in that circumstance. The mountain is being made low now. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the powerful name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it in Jesus' mighty name. I'm a living testimony. I always say this. When you depend on God, oh child of God, you will overcome. You will never fail. You will never fail. You will never fail when you depend on God. The Bible says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. When you are abiding under the shadow of the Almighty, the shadow empowers you. The Almighty empowers you. He energizes you. He strengthens you. As you abide in the secret place, as you are dwelling, as you are dead, you make God your shelter. Oh, you overcome every negative uh, problem in life. In the name of Jesus. Shema mama kotaya naraba se. Beke te borobo se. Oh, borobo sande mama mama mama. Oh, there is none like you, Lord. There is none like you, Lord. There is none like you, Lord. Oh, prepare me the way of the Lord. Prepare, I see tires of fire. Oh, coming to your age now. I see tires of fire. God is coming to you now. That problem, that seems to be, it looks like it's permanent. It's, God is coming. Oh, I see the fire of the Holy Ghost burning them into ashes. Oh, Shandukatan, Bakutabarukatea, Narabase. Oh, we glorify you. We magnify you. We exalt you, Lord. We exalt you. We exalt you. Shake it up. That problem is being melted now. In the name of Jesus. A year like this. A year like this. You became your baby. In Jesus' mighty name. A year like this. Oh, you have your own business. In the name of Jesus, what they have spoken, it shall not bear fruit. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I speak into your life now. Receive it now in Jesus' name. Receive it. Receive the power of the Holy Ghost. Wherever you are, receive it. Receive it. Let the Spirit of God take over you. Wakana 
and our desire who is like unto you. Oh, they that wait upon the Lord shall be strong, and they shall do exploits. They that wait upon the Lord, they that depend upon the Lord, they shall be strong and they shall do exploits. They shall pick up serpents with their bare hands. They shall drink deadly poison and they shall not die. They shall tread upon serpents and scorpions oh, and they shall not bite you. She gave us a say, Bekabaruka Tabakubaruka Tayend, receive the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive the anointing that breaks yours to break every yoke of the enemy. The Bible says, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Any yoke. Is being destroyed now because of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. You have lost nothing because you have the master. You have Jesus. You have everything. Isaiah 40 verse 28. Has thou not known? Has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainted not, neither is weary, there is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint. And to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. Even the youth shall faint. Listen carefully, child of God. Even the youth, those young, young boys, girls, young men, women, the Bible says they shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. The young men shall utterly fall. Hey, hey, hey. The young men shall utterly fall. Listen to verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord, there is no age limit here. In verse 30, he makes specification of the youth and the young men. There are, there are some classes of people. The Bible says that the, the youth shall faint, they shall give up. The young men shall. Do what? They shall utterly fall. But there is another group of people, the Bible did not speak about them, their age. The Bible says, even the youth shall faint, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, and they shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. They that wait upon the Lord, they that depend on God, they that allow the leadership 
of the Holy Ghost. The Bible says they shall renew, they shall renew their strength. It means the strength you have, or oh, you renew it, and it shall be doubled. They shall renew their strength, and they shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run. They shall fight the battle. They shall <coughs> do all the things God has asked them to do. And they shall not be worthy. They shall not be overcome. Because when we wait upon the Lord, God strengthens us. Child of God, you will not faint. I pray for you now as I bring my message to a close. May the power of the Holy Ghost touch you now. May the Spirit of God raise a standard against any flood of the enemy against your life in the name of Jesus. May every mountain and hill be made low by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. As you depend on God, may that spirit of blindness be broken, be cast away in the name of Jesus. I give you praise, Almighty God. I glorify you. I magnify you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you for tuning in to Bless TV and Bless Radio. Next week, by the grace of God, I'm going to uh, announce to you, I'll, I'll speak to Brother Moses to give you directions to where we worship. And if you want to join us, you'll be welcome. Amen. And God will richly bless you. The name of God's ministry that he has given unto us is Open Doors Prayer Ministry. We pray and things happen. God richly bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Amen. Merci beaucoup. Beaucoup merci. If you are less busy, I can upload it quickly for you so that you can listen to yourself.